We've uh, recently added a new CEO, um, David Orban, who has a uh, very deep and long technology background. I don't really have a profound technology background, mm -hmm. so David sort of rounds out the team that mm -hmm. way, and he's going to be working on, um, we think we're sort of at the fulcrum of three or four uh, exponential technology growth, the, obviously the explosive growth in online video, the explosive globalization, um, the, the explosion of the proliferation of the internet and all of the languages. People are now becoming aware that languages are important things. So we're doing a lot of a lot of work globally. So Michael, tell us uh, specifically about your work for TED, and, and that's such a phenomenon. It's a global phenomenon. You know, just tell us a little bit about how the system works, what you do, and. Well, TED is just an amazing uh, example of the power of people around the world. All, two years ago, next week. Um, TED launched their open translation program powered by .sub and in two years there's almost 20,000 TED Talks subtitled into 88 languages by 6,700 TED volunteers, none of whom had ever subtitled or translated before. And the process has worked uh, so that the quality, we think that the quality of the translations is as good or better than that of professional translations because the Tedsters are very passionate about what they do and they, they volunteer and then there's a second reviewer who has to pass Ted's criterion and the reviewer works with the first translator to get a very, very good video and the amount of video views that the videos have in countries is increasing by orders of magnitude. So it's just an explosive program enabling TED Talks to, to be available to people all over the world. So could you just explain how .sub works, like who are these people, what the platform is that they work on? Well, the people, um, those people are t TED fans. Okay. Uh, we've recently launched a program with Adobe, Adobe TV, um, with 11,000 videos, and those are Adobe fans. So when we use crowdsourcing, when our clients use crowdsourcing, um, it's their fans. So we have a, uh, a religious spiritual group in India called Osho that has 75 to 100 million followers around the world. So they are translating Osho's teachings. So our technology is an enabling technology with a browser-based platform that can either use professional translators, and most of our corporate clients don't understand or trust the crowd yet. So we use professional translators who do the translation on our platform. Uh, and then render their videos in multiple languages, either on Brightcove, we're one of Brightcove's first partners, or other video platforms, or their own platform. And, or you could use the crowd, or in many cases, it's a combination. Some of our clients are using their own employees. So we have a very scalable, world-class TCMS, Translation Content Management System, that enables people with no training in linguistics or subtitling to manage hundreds if not thousands of videos into scores of languages with thousands of translators and assign them on a granular basis so that each video in each language is given out by permission. So when we say crowdsourcing, it's not like Wikipedia, it's controlled crowdsourcing. So none of our clients that have value-added content are allowing any person to come in and do this. They're just specifically having permission so they know who does it with a username and a password. And tell us about your business model then and, and what, what's next for you guys. Well, our business model, we, we have basically uh, fees for uh, integrating our technology into your platform or player, customizing it and training. And we have monthly license fees basically as a software as a service provider. And then professional services fees for time coding and captioning in source language, it could be English, and then doing the translation into other languages, this is per minute fees. And then with more and more of our clients that we think have very, very good long-term potential, we're actually doing strategic partnerships with them where we have revenue share agreements, where resultant revenue either from digital downloads um, is we're, we're sharing in that revenue in multiple languages. One other thing, it, we think that the huge growth is going to be in mobile delivery. And we think there's going to be three billion people in the world that are bypassing PCs and going directly to mobile. But uh, on the little screen, is it hard to read a uh, translation? No, people do a lot of reading of text, and the subtitling is not a problem because it's very, very, very legible. The, the difficult thing is all of the different sets have different codecs for rendering text in different ways. So it's a, a challenge, but we're, we're, we're working on it. We've got it all done with all of the iOS products right now.